Lake, Texas. Ed, you mentioned you were a fifth grade history teacher. Where do you teach? I teach at Trinity Valley School in Fort Worth, Texas. What do you think the kids will feel about this? I mean, do they, they obviously know you're a smart guy. I have a great rapport with my kids, and I think they'll be extremely proud. And for about 15 minutes, I'll have my fame. It's <laughs> the way it should be. It might be a little longer than 15 minutes the way that you're going. You're going for $16,000 right now, just se exactly, just seven away. Are you ready? There's that breath again. I'm ready. Okay, let's play. For $16,000, Ed, in architecture, a vertical window set in a gable on a sloping roof is called a what? Stanchion, dormer, marquee, cupola. Wow. I teach history. Did I tell you that? You did. <laughs> Why does dormer sound familiar? Why do they all sound familiar to me? Because <laughs> you probably heard them all. Yes, I have. Uh, let's do 50-50 if I could. Absolutely. Computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Hmm. Let's do Dormer, final answer. Let's do it. You have it for 60 <laughs> This is for 25000 and the fourth lifeline. One of Time Magazine's 100 People of the Century, the unknown rebel famously stood up to the army of what country? East Germany, China, Soviet Union, Vietnam. Why does the Dalai Lama sound familiar? Come to mind. Why does the Dalai Lama come to mind? It might be for a good reason. East Germany, no. Um, Vietnam, no. Let's go B, China, final answer. I don't know why you thought Dalai Lama, but China is right. You have 20... And now we got this is Capital One check, $25,000. Can't leave here with less than that. Good job. Remember he, the guy, he stood up in front of the tanks? Right. Tiananmen uh, Square. You know, I believe that's who they're talking about, right? Am I right? Yeah. And, and Meredith, you know, that poster is in my classroom today. Oh. <laughs> and kids ask me, what is this gentleman doing? And now you can say. He's the unknown He's rebel. He's the unknown hero. Exactly. <laughs> or a rebel, I'm sorry. Yeah, get it right before you see the kids, because they're going to watch you. They're going to give you a hard time. I want to remind you, Ed, since you got the $25,000, you also have your new lifeline. Switch the question, okay? So that's good. All right, Ed. This is for $50,000. In 2006, what movie did Entertainment Weekly name as the most controversial movie of all time? Do the Right Thing, Fahrenheit 9-11, The Passion of the Christ, The Da Vinci Code. You know, seeing The Da Vinci Code, for the controversy it stirred. Well, you can go with that if you want, or you can... Uh use one of your uh, lifelines? I've seen three of the four movies. Um, I would say D, final answer. It's not D, I'm sorry. It is C, the passion of the Christ. But, Ed, 
$25,000. Stay Thank right there. Much. I don't want you to go Thank yet. You, you are so welcome. You folks stick around too because there's one million out after the break. Now you can play millionaire anytime you want right on your cell phone. Contact your wireless carrier and ask for the Millionaire Mobile Edition.